We're going to take a look at rational expressions in this video. So first of all, let's talk about what an expression is. This would be a polynomial. Specifically, it's a binomial because there's two terms here, but polynomial is a term that defines defines any number of terms added or subtracted together. So we'll just call this a polynomial here. This would be an expression because there's no equal sign. Over here, 2x minus 3 equals 5, we would call this an equation because there's an equal sign here and there would be a specific value of x that we could solve for. So in this video we're going to look at expressions. So we're not going to deal with equations, we're going to deal with expressions. And we're going to learn about a rational expression. And really a rational expression is like taking two polynomial expressions, like say this one, and dividing it by another polynomial expression. So rational expression is becomes a fraction. There'll be a numerator and there'll be a denominator. And more importantly, the denominator needs to have a variable in here. Must have a variable in the denominator. Okay, so rational expressions are simply a polynomial divided by a polynomial, and there needs to be a variable in the denominator. So here are a bunch of examples of rational expressions. They all are fractions, and they all have a variable, or in this case, two different variables in the denominator. Now you'll remember, you learned this quite a while ago, that there's one number that you can never divide by, and that's zero. You can't divide by zero. So one of the problems that we have when we're dealing with rational expressions is we are dividing because it becomes a fraction. So this question is literally 3 divided by x. So this creates a potential problem. You can see here that whatever this expression is, we could go 3 divided by 2, we could make x 2, or we could make x 6, 3 divided by 6, that would be a half. But one thing that we can't do is we can't have x equals 0. So we write this like this, x with an equal sign and a slash through, this means x cannot equal 0. So in this expression right here, 3 divided by x, x cannot equal 0. And we call these points non-permissible values. In other words, they're not permitted. Oops. So x cannot equal 0. x equals 0 is a non-permissible value because we'd have 3 divided by 0 and we can't do that. Here's another example. Say we had the rational expression 2 divided by x minus 3. Well, if we took the denominator, which is x minus 3, and set it equal to 0, because we're trying to find out the non-permissible values here, we know the denominator cannot equal 0, so x minus 3 cannot equal 0, and then the regular rules of solving for x apply. So if we added 3 to both sides, we get x cannot equal 3. So this expression right here, 2 divided by x minus 3, has a non-permissible value of x not equal to 3. x could not equal 3 in this expression. But we could do other values. We could put 4 in for x. 4 minus 3 would be 1, and 2 divided by 1 would give us a, a value of 2. Well, let's say we wanted to find the non-permissible values for these three rational expressions here. So again, the non-permissible values are the place where the denominator is 0 because we cannot divide by 0. So really this question, in terms of finding the non-permissible values, just becomes taking the denominator and saying the denominator cannot equal 0. Well, there's going to need to be some factoring here in a lot of these questions. And really a lot of what we do in rational expressions will involve factoring. So time to brush up on those factoring skills from your, your previous math experience. So I can see there's a common factor here of 5x. I'm going to take out the common factor. When we're factoring, we always look for a common factor. So here there's a common factor of 5x 
and that leaves me with x minus 2. So now we have two factors here. We have the 5x and this, x minus 2. So if this times this cannot equal 0, then that means that each of these factors cannot equal 0, because any one of those factors will make the denominator 0. So we say 5x cannot equal 0, and then just dividing by 5 gives us still x cannot equal 0. 0 divided by 5 is 0. So 0 would be a non-permissible value. If I put 0 in for x, that would be 5 times 0, which is 0, minus 10 times 0, which is 0. 0 minus 0 doesn't work. And here we would add 2 to both sides. And in addition, x could not equal 2, because putting 2 in for x will make that denominator 0. So this one has two non-permissible values, 0 and 2. This one here. Here's our denominator, it cannot equal 0. So this is a, a trinomial where the leading coefficient is a 1. So this is the one where we find two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and add to negative 5. So that would be negative 7 and positive 2. So this would factor to x minus 7 and x plus 2. So those factors cannot equal 0 which means x minus 7 cannot equal 0 and x plus 2 cannot equal 0. And then adding 7 to both sides, we get x cannot equal 7 and here subtracting 2 from both sides gives us x cannot equal negative 2. So those are our two non-permissible values in our second rational expression. And finally in the third rational expression, Here's our denominator. It cannot equal 0. I see we have a common factor here of 2, so I'm going to take the 2 out. So 2 times x squared minus 9 cannot equal 0. The 2 is, is always going to be 2, so the only expression I've got to worry about here, or the only factor to worry about, is this one. So that means x squared minus 9 cannot equal 0. This is a difference of squares. So you take the square to the first term, which was x, put that there and there. The square to 9 is 3, here and here, 1 plus 1 minus. So x plus 3 times x minus 3 cannot equal 0, which means x plus 3 can't equal 0, or x minus 3 can't equal 0. So each factor can equal 0. Minus 3 from both sides we get x cannot equal negative 3, or here, adding 3 to both sides, x cannot equal positive 3. So that's how we find non-permissible values of rational expressions. We take the denominator, and we set it equal to 0, and we find those values where the denominator equals 0. Those are the ones that they cannot equal, because we cannot divide by 0.